Hi guys, I am here to explain to you how to bathe a Yorkshire Terrier. So a lot of you guys have been writing, you've been asking me questions and wanting to know how to bathe your Yorkie. So I wanted to come on to let you know. So first of all, before I bathe my Yorkie, I actually go in and do lots of brushing. I make sure I get out every single tangle and every single mat. And yes, I am sending a text, but look at how cute Alfie's little face is here. He is such a little pumpkin. So I prep them before I bathe them because any knots that are in their hair are simply going to get worse. So you're going to want to get those out so they are ready for their bath. So before you put your Yorkie into the sink with the water, you're going to want to really test that water and let it run for a little while to make sure that you do not burn your Yorkie. That would be a really bad experience and your Yorkie would probably never want to get into the bath again. I get all of my supplies ready. So I've got my shampoo, conditioner, and I have pumps on both of them to make it super easy. I've got my little washcloth to take any kind of gunk or eye boogers out of their eyes and a nice towel to dry them off with. Um, after that little mini towel, I usually actually wrap them in a full body towel and also a little plastic blender bottle that I use to put some water in when I'm working on their faces. They really don't like to have their faces washed, so I like to make it as easy as possible. A little note about water temperature is that Yorkies have a much lower body temperature than we do, which means that water that feels comfortably warm to us could feel scalding hot to them. So what I usually do is I use water that just feels slightly warm, but it definitely does not feel hot even a little bit. So this is Alfie that I'm washing and I basically just go over and over his body because he has super, super thick fur. So it takes me several minutes to make sure that I have his entire body damp and there are no dry spots underneath. Um, keep in mind that you want to have a really nice, calm environment around them when you're washing them. I don't know about your dogs, but it is not my Yorkie's favorite thing to get a bath. So I try to make it a really soothing, relaxing, spa-like experience. I don't have any loud noises when I'm doing this. And I just try to really let them relax and enjoy the experience. He's pretty happy. Um, sometimes I will put two of the dogs in the sink at the same time, and they actually seem really happy to have a friend with them. Um, so don't forget the tail get that under you know their little bum area get their little tummy area um, the pads of their feet all of that and you want to make sure that you've covered everything with water because if there are any dry spots the shampoo is going to stick to those spots and you don't want to do that as much as my dogs don't love to be bathed they are so much cleaner after and their hair is easier to untangle um, so it's easier to keep them mat free and things like that i usually bathe them every two weeks but with lola she has very 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 oily hair that tends to mat so sometimes i give her a bath a little bit more like every seven to ten days but always with special pH balanced dog shampoo. So I'm never just using, I've heard of people that say that they're using human shampoo. You don't want to do that. It's not the right balance for a dog. So I'm actually going to include some links in this video below. I'm going to have some of my favorite items that I use for my dog baths, um, including my shampoos, um, the the little washcloth that I use and all the little accessories that I use. It's pretty simple. You really don't need anything fancy. Now, when you get up to the area where their heads are, just remember they really are not going to want to have a ton of water on their faces. So just be really gentle. I very gently, if you look, I'm just tilting his head back a little bit and trying not to get water all over him because he tends to choke if I do that. If you look, I'm actually putting my hand on his ears to close his ears because you don't want to put water directly into your dog's ears. You can actually cause an ear infection. 
Oh, and right here, we are getting interrupted by Simba. He's decided to check out the bath, and he's also completely blocking the video, which I think it takes me a few seconds to realize. So I'm getting out my trusty water gun to tell the cat <laughs> to go away. He doesn't really like that. Alfie's being super, super patient. He is the most sweet and gentle little guy. So you can see by how long this is taking me, and I actually did cut some of it out as well, that it really takes a while to get his entire body completely wet down with water. And I'm kind of going just the top of his head. It's I can see that it's still dry and the little sides of his face. And then I actually fill my blender bottle with water and I put a little bit of water on his head that way just so that it's not going in his eyes and so that it's really, really gentle, but he's sort of like flinching. <laughs> it's not his favorite thing. So this is one of my absolute favorite tricks, and I think you're gonna find that it's really easy to use when you're washing your Yorkie's face. The poor little babies have so much hair and it's so close to their eyes, so if you just give them a little bit of almost like a sponge bath on their faces, it's gonna be so gentle for them. You're not gonna be giving them an ear infection and you are going to get the results that you want to get so you can completely shampoo their bodies and get them clean and also give them a relaxing experience so that they don't mind if you bathe them again. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but I do have my little drain catch in them. You want to make sure that their little feet can't go down the drain. Um, I don't have a disposal on that side, but just make sure that everything is really nice and safe. Um, he's being such a good baby here, as you can see. I'm getting all those areas. They tend to collect a little bit of um, eye boogers or food and things like that in their mustache. So it's really important to get it clean. Um, sometimes in between baths, I actually just take a little washcloth like that and I just clean up their eyes so that they don't have any eye boogers. Um, and it just makes them look really, really good. This is actually just a human washcloth that I have. You can use any washcloth that you have, but just make sure that it is a clean one. Um, you don't want to be putting any bacteria onto your Yorkie's face. As you can see, once Alfie's fur is completely wet, he looks like a different dog. He has the most incredibly thick hair and it grows straight, straight out. So I'm starting to shampoo him and I'm sure you would think of this, but just remember they have tiny, tiny little bodies and tiny, tiny little bones. So don't use the same pressure that you might like for yourself because Yorkies are so tiny. Um, if you ever see in an x-ray of their legs, their leg bones are basically like the size of a pencil. So just be really gentle, go up and down their legs and talk to them as you do it and just tell them what a good job that they're doing. They really appreciate it, and even though mine have been bathed for years and years, it's still, as I said before, not their favorite thing. So I'm just very, very gentle, and I talk them through the entire process so that they don't feel panicked when I'm doing it. Really important to really get the pads of their feet um, underneath, and just remember all those, all those areas. Um, I do his little ponytail, and that makes it so much easier when I need to untangle him. I'm doing his little mustache hair as well. So just get every single area. I will say that when I am shampooing his face, I'm not using quite as much shampoo as I'm using on the back of his body. I use a puppy shampoo by Isle of Dogs for Alfie. And the reason that I really like the puppy shampoo is just there is no, it's a tearless shampoo, so it's not irritating for him. And I feel like they do have so much fur that's close to their eyes that it's nice to use something really gentle because I know that none of us would like shampoo in our eyes. Keep in mind as well when you're rinsing, don't just do a quick rinse because a lot of people have told me that their Yorkies have you know, itchy skin after bathing. And I think there's a really good chance that this itchy skin could be due to the fact that the rinse was a little bit too quick. 
So my general rule is that I rinse them, I rinse them a little bit more, and I just keep rinsing because you might think that you have every last morsel of that shampoo out, but there's still so much left and it's going to be really irritating for them. So I'm using my little washcloth and ever so gently, I'm just pressing it into the corner that's right near his eyes, exactly where you always need to brush out a little bit of the gunk and really, really gently because I don't want to give him any raw spots or irritate his skin. I go over that several times and I also just very, very gently brush it through the hair where his mustache is. And I usually do this until I don't see any more brown on that white washcloth. So I do find that a white washcloth works so much better because you can see basically when you're done, no more debris is going to come off of your puppy's face. He's going to be super, super clean and he's going to feel so much better because you can comb their faces all that you want, but it doesn't really always get all of the gunk out of their eyes. So just take your time. You don't want to poke them in the eyes and get every last little morsel out of there. So I'm just going to put a little bit of conditioner on Alfie. This is going to make it so much easier when I need to comb him out daily. If you do not use conditioner, you're going to have a super hard time untangling your Yorkie. So I'm putting it all over. I'm putting it in his little ponytail, on his legs. I'm putting it everywhere and I just massage it in really quickly. And then same thing that I did with the shampoo. I'm going to really take my time and I'm actually going to almost act like I'm shampooing his little body as I'm getting that conditioner out because I don't want to leave any buildup or anything on him that would attract dirt and things like that. So this is the way that I wash my puppies. I usually do it every other week. Um, sometimes I might do it you know, a little bit more often for Lola. I do get them groomed every 10 weeks at home. So someone actually cuts their hair, but you can do a lot with your Yorkie with just bathing your Yorkie and keeping it fresh. I will say that I have been known to do this as a little bit of an emergency thing. If I found out that my Yorkies had walked out on some grass or something that has fresh pesticides, um, dogs really do lick their paws and their bodies. So if you find out that your dog has been in chemicals, um, maybe walking in some salts in the winter, it's always really good to give them a bath because they could get sick from ingesting those things. Um, it does take a little bit of time to do this, but your dog is going to feel so, so much better. So once you've rinsed all the water off of your Yorkie and you're sure that there's no more conditioner on your Yorkie, you're actually just going to want to turn off the water and of course, never leave your Yorkie unattended because it could jump out of the sink and break its legs. Um, I have heard of that happening, so be careful. I keep a towel close by so as soon as I turn that water off and as soon as I'm done I ever so gently just run my hands over my Yorkie take any excess water off and then I take my small towel to take a little bit of the water off I wrap my Yorkie into a large towel and I brush their facial hair down so it's going in the right direction at that point, you can choose to blow your uh, Yorkie's hair dry if you'd like to. I would suggest using very low heat and never pointing your blow dryer at your Yorkie's face. You can actually damage their eyes. I simply let my dogs dry naturally and that is it. I hope if you enjoyed this, you will subscribe to my channel and comment below and let me know if this was helpful to you. Stay healthy and stay beautiful and see you guys soon.